you guys? I am back with part two. She's done. As you can see, uh, thankfully within the time frame that I really wanted to, this, this actually didn't take me too long to do. I think the needle I used was super big. Yeah, I just wanted to wear it because I thought it was super cute. I wanted it to be purple on purple, so that's what we're doing right now. Later on, I'm going to show you like the final, final thing. I want to write a pattern for this. Like, I mean, hopefully the designer won't hurt me, but she doesn't sell this anymore. It's an old collection. Like there's no really way for you to get it. I'm probably going to write a pattern for this and hopefully it'll be uh, in the description below within the next couple days. I wasn't going to do kind of like one of these intros, but maybe this is just what all my videos are gonna have from, from now on. Yeah, so I have a couple announcements just really quickly. Thank you guys so much. Um, we're almost at 6K subs. Like, I don't know what's happening. Like, I swear to God in January, I had like 150 people. So for this channel to grow so much in such a short amount of time, I think is really crazy. I love it. It's really cool. I never thought this would happen. Also, I'm gonna say this now, I'm going to start a Twitch. Everyone in the comments is telling me to do it. And I think it would be really cool. I, 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 like, I was even thinking we could do like, we could pick like a free pattern and then I would go and knit it with you guys. I don't know if that is completely crazy. So I know everyone is in different time zones. I'm at, I'm in PST right now. I, I don't know if I should do a vote or not, but the plan just for my schedule, I think this will work better for me, is if I stream on Thursdays and Sundays, I'm kind of iffy on what times and I'll probably only knit for like an hour or so. I might do like Thursday nights and then Sunday like afternoon-ish. We'll see if that doesn't really work for anyone, then I, I can easily change it. Again, I don't know if Twitch is really gonna work out for me and if anyone is really gonna watch, I, I just wanna try it out for a month and see what happens. I'd love to play games or do, you know, other things besides knitting because I know this channel feels like it's going to be a knitting channel and it probably is, but I, I wanna do crocheting, which is, I mean, another craft. I, like I would like to do other stuff. Some someone said they wanted to see like a nail tutorial. I don't know. <laughs> Another crazy announcement. I'm making a Discord server. So <laughs> yeah, lots of crazy things are happening. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. Really excited. I think this is like a huge step in a weird direction, but I'm loving it. I'm not too skilled with Discord, but I'm trying to get the hang of it. I think it'd be so cool to build a community of not just knitters, but anyone who's interested in knitting or crocheting or doing any crafts. I think there's a lot of new, like young knitters, like young crafters, and I feel like it would be really cool to create community. Hopefully on the Discord I can figure out what things we can put in there. Like you can showcase your projects, you can talk about like if people need help you can talk to them. We could have like Netflix parties or like play games. I don't know. I just think Twitch and Discord are so great for building like better interactions with people because like like for YouTube I'm just like making a video and posting it and you guys see it. I, I also don't really like how YouTube does the comments because I can respond to every one of you guys but I can see everyone's comment but it's so difficult to find someone's reply so I feel so bad if you're like asking me any sort of question in a reply. Like I feel like Twitch would be way better if you have anything you want to say to me in real time and you want to talk to me yeah so thank you for the support really appreciate it um if you want to see more videos like this please hit the subscribe button and if you want to see me finish this project but let's get on with the video okay we are here with part two i am so glad you guys are here to join me um yeah as you can see i am doing the, the two front panels I was super iffy with how they initially looked like. You'll kind of see they look very long and not like big and fluffy and spread out as I wanted it to be. And so it took me such a long time to like bite the bullet and actually try to do it until the very end. I hate with knitting, you don't really know what you're gonna get with the end process, you know. It, it it all just looks like a whole bunch of random slabs of, of fabric until you sew it all together but it actually looked okay I was I was honestly really surprised because this yarn is maybe not the best quality I think if you wanted to make it look super nice you could use wool and maybe a thread of mohair combined 
Yeah, so I actually didn't show the process of me sewing everything with a mattress stitch just because I didn't want to film it because I was so scared it wasn't going to turn out and I didn't want you guys to see me sad and like cringing the whole time. Yeah, so I'm making the border. I made three buttonholes like so that if I wanted to add buttons to this, I could. I don't have three matching buttons that are like white, so this is a open cardigan for me. And I'm totally okay with it because I can't really imagine myself wearing it as a shirt. But you could, you could totally, you could do it. Oh my god. Whenever I'm trying it on for the first time, it really does show me if this thing is going to look good or not, just because I think the body is the most important part to get correct, because then you can do the sleeves and it's like it's you're pretty good to go. Having said that, I had such difficulty making these sleeves. I don't know what it is about these sleeves. I, I think I was just looking at the reference picture so much because in one of the pictures you just have it's a really puffy shoulder area and then it tapers down but then it has a balloon kind of part where it tape like tapers I don't know I can't explain it to you but for some reason my mind process was it had to be puffy at the top so I immediately thought we had to go bottom up for the sleeves but then it I just couldn't fathom doing that it just didn't look nice so I ended up just picking up stitches at the armholes and just knitting downwards I want to say they came out a little big just as you can see it's humongous but at the same time I feel like it works like I think the sweater that's just what it's supposed to be I think that's my style anyway I was almost done doing the sleeves I've been watching Parks and Rec, obviously, but I just finished Bling Empire, which I thought was gonna be trash TV, and it was, but it was like wonderful trash TV. I don't know. Just watching these people, you kind of like get to know them, and um, if anyone have, has seen it, I'm Kelly. That's just <laughs> end of story. I've been looking at how to Twitch stream. It's kind of difficult just because I think my laptop isn't strong enough to handle the stream. I think it's going to either buffer or it's not going to be the greatest quality. But my boyfriend has a Switch that I steal from time to time and I would love to play like Animal Crossing or maybe Stardew Valley, like start one and just make it all pretty and shit. I'm really into that Harvest Moon, you know, that yeah, if anyone doesn't know what these things are, you essentially, you're just farming and you're just building relationships with people and I don't know what it is about it, but you just feel this sense of progression and accomplishment and you know, you, you, you work and you save your money and you buy the things that you need for your farm and it's really rewarding. But I would also be down to play other games if you guys are interested. If not, I still want to do it because it seems so cool. If you guys have any other game recommendations, I would love to hear it because I'm always looking for more. I just don't always have the time to play. Sorry, got a little sidetracked, but uh, I'm just knitting the little flowers and I almost didn't do the sleeves one, but I think it really all came together nicely. Hey yo, so <laughs> I oh my god it just it's it screams out everything i wanted it to be i think uh cables are nice flowers are nice edges crisp yeah you'll see me pose really awkwardly just to show you guys how it looks like i think it came out nice honestly 10 out of 10 would recommend it's it gives me just pure happiness just because like I have been dying over this cardigan for like a year now and knowing that I have something similar in my hands just makes it all wonderful she is a scandalous little thing I oh my goodness it's like I could never wear this out physically no one in Vancouver is going to think I'm normal 
you know, people in Vancouver just wear puffer jackets, raincoats, you know, you got some Nike Air Force Ones and some yoga pants. Yeah, so I tried to style this with other stuff. I think color is not my thing and purple or lilac is such is a crazy color to me so i honestly think i can only really pair this with a white shirt i tried it with a black one but it seemed really dark um but yeah thank you for sticking with this video thank you for watching if you saw part one and two hope to see you guys next week Humans, for the most part, don't.